Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make one of these wave walls in Fusion 360. It's pretty easy and you can put it in your visual merchandising uh, shop front and you can export it out into the laser cutter which you can you cut on uh, into the illustrator and I'll show you how to do that. So we're just going to flick across into Fusion 360 and first of all we're going to create a sketch and we'll put it on the front view. And we know that the height of the box is 270 maximum. So I'm just gonna draw a rectangle up at, so I'll just tab that, 270 millimeters high. And we just need to determine how wide we want our wall to look. So if we make it say 75 or 80 wide, and I'll just hit enter on that. So I'll finish that sketch there. Now, what we can do, um, we've got to figure out the width of the wall now. So let's, first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a um, pattern, a rectangular pattern. Or well, actually, before we do that, let's create a, a um, surface off that. So I'm going to hit a patch. So I'll just create a little patch out of that. So this is like a, a body that, of sorts, which is very thin doesn't actually have any thickness, but it's something we can use to draw things on. So I'll extrude that out now. So we're going to actually go into create uh, a pattern and we'll do a rectangular pattern. And the bodies have been selected and the objects we will select the object. So one is selected and now we just need to select the axis. So I'll just, we can do on the blue one, red one. But we want to go out along the horizontal here. And we know that it's 440 is the maximum of the shop front. So let's make it, say, 15 panels inside of that by just clicking on 15 and 440 long. So we've now got a few of these to look at. So next thing, what we want to do, we'll do an offset sketch. I'll just hide those bodies for the moment by clicking on up here. And I want to do a construct an offset plane and I want to offset it from the origin which is actually over here on this, this side so I'm going to do an offset plane and we'll just come halfway just so we can have some bits coming out and some bits going in so we'll go okay on that now the next step once we've done that we want to create a shape onto that so I'm going to hit on Go back to solid and we'll create a form and that's asking us where do we want to create this form so I want to draw it on this shape here so I'm going to create a shape onto that um, I'll just hit right side and let's just click on it around here somewhere I'm going to drag a shape out like that and I'll just show you what I've done so now we've got this wall here and we've created this shape and I now need to create some sort of points on here. Um, let's just drag a few of these out. So we've got a number of shapes here. Let's drag a few this way. So now we've got it in little squares. So we'll do 18 by 18. And go OK. So now we have this wall that we can actually affect. So I'm going to hit on the modify button up here and what we can do, we're going to go into soft modification here. Click on that, and when I click on a button here, it gives me a shape. So let's make that a little bit bigger. So let's make that say 100 millimeters, and we'll just drag this shape out. You can actually start to affect some of these. So let's we'll go to along here, and I'll click on a few of these now. Let's modify um, set one shape there. And I'll hold down the shift button, do a few of these together. And we'll drag this out and see what happens. So we've got a bar coming out this way. So we can make a shelf, let's say. And I'll just push that up. So that could be potentially a seat or something. And we'll go down here and let's click on a few different ones here.
so if you shape it, we'll do soft modification actually. And you can go back the other way too, if you would like. Let's do some points out here. Okay. You can affect each one of these points individually if you like. So turn off the soft modification tool. You just drag out one point at a time. And so you get a lot of control over this. So once we've done that, I'm just going to finish the form. Okay, so now I've got our sort of shapes here. There's something looking like that. So I'll just, what I want to do now, I'm actually going to go modify and I'm going to split body. So it's now asked me to split it up. So I'll just say, what do we want to split? Body to split. So we're going to select all of these along here. And the splitting tool is going to be this here. And we'll go OK. Now if I turn off the off the shape, if I go back into bodies. And I know it is going to be that shape. I'll just turn that off. So you can sort of see here, now we have our shapes all split into shapes. So what I can go, go along now, I'm just going to go and click on all these. And I'll just go in and actually press um, modify. Oops, sorry. Right, we just delete them. We see. We now have our shape that we wanted. Okay, and then what we want to do, we can select all of them. And we can actually go down to create, and we can actually thicken it. And let's make them say four millimeters thick and go OK. So now we have our shape that we wanted and we've designed. I'm just going to go file save as. Let's save that as um, ripple or wave. So now we've got our shape. We can actually modify this if, if we want to. It's quite easy to do that by going back in and actually um, going into the body that we've, or the splitting body and actually change that round. But I'll just show the next step, stage. You can go into design and go into manufacture. And what this is going to do is going to allow us to lay all these shapes flat so we can put it onto the laser cutter. So first here, we're just going to go up here and we're going to go into models. So we're going to set up um, create manufacturing model and then we click on that and edit manufacturing model so our wave and then I want to go down to modify and go into arrange we have our shape here what we do have to do we actually have to go into the bodies all these bodies I'm just going to delete these bodies because I don't actually need them I'll cancel out of that That and we're going to convert these bodies here, create components from bodies. So now we have all these new components, and we're going to modify a range and we're going to lay them flat. So we're going to select all the components here. Let's click on all of them. Okay, and we've got 15 selected. And we're going to hit on envelope and sketch plane. We need to figure out where we're going to stick this. So let's put it on the round plane there. So it's laid out some and not all of them. Oh, this is 300 by 300, so some haven't been laid out. So we need to put it down our laser cutter um, shape, which is going to be 850 millimeters. 
and the width is 450 or 400 sorry 400 and make it like so 3 millimeters spacing and go OK. We now have our shapes all laid out for the laser cutter. So what we'll do, we're going to finish edit and what I want to do, I'm going to take this shape and I'll export as a DXF file, which we can then open up in Illustrator. I'll export that out. So that shape should be good to go into the laser cutter. Okay, thank you.